Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today what I want to talk about is a very, very special watch for uh, lots of reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, I was lent the watch. It was uh, shipped to me from New York where, by by the way too, I want to, uh, Hodinkee uh, had done a review of it and before it went back to Singapore, I, I was able to get a look at it. Anyway, uh, this is the Celadon Haute Holoturie Sentry Closene Peacock and Peonies. And I got to tell you, uh, you can see from the picture, this is really a beautiful piece of work. Uh, Closene enamel is used to create this almost dreamlike garden in a, in a swirl of colors and it has almost like a 3D character to it. Um, and what it is, it's, it's a technique that's used and usually it's a very expensive uh, process. The, and I'm, by expensive, I'm talking watches I've seen uh, with this level of uh, Cosine or in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. This one is 14,400 Swiss francs. So it's, it's one with extremely high quality in terms of just about every feature we can look at on it. And uh, it's one of the, uh, not the finalists, but it's a, an entry into the Grand Prix d'Orologie de Genève for 2022 in the artistic crafts uh, category. And uh, from the looks of it, I think it, it's got a good, a good shot at it. Now, the other thing about this is that it's not just the front, but it's also the back that is, the finishing on the back is, is really first rate. The, uh, all of the close name models have movement plates and bridges that are finished either in white gold or uh, rose gold. And the anglage, you can see it, you can see the anglage on that is, is really remarkable. Let me take this off here and, and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, let me give it a little polish up here so you can get a good look at it. And as you can see, this is really beautifully done um, on, on all levels. It's sort of hard to see from all the different light uh, coming on here, but... Uh, they didn't, that's one of the things there was no skimping on. Another thing I sort of liked about it, uh, notice the crown, it's sort of inset a little, and then it has a little, uh, a, a little hollow here where you can uh, wind it with. It's hand wound, by the way. Every bit of this is, is handmade. You can see the uh, gold uh, chatons that are used to cushion the rubies, and the rubies are used as bearings. Uh, for the spinning uh, gears and so forth to come out. So it's one of the, and they use all of these uh, important techniques on this. Now, the movement itself, this is it was not an off-the-shelf movement. It, it was made for Celadon by Lin Yang Hua. Uh, and he is an AHCI. This is a group of independent, really top top rate watchmakers with people like uh, FP's Yarn, uh, Kari Vutenlanen, and all of the other great independents in, uh, in uh, watchmaking. Uh, 18,000 semi-oscillations per hour, which is the one I like, two and a half hertz, in 45 hours. So, I mean, you've got a, a watch that not only has this really remarkable uh, close, on, close on A on it, it also has got a movement that is a it's a handmade movement designed for uh, Celadon. Incredible! Even the hands are handmade, uh, and they're not. I don't know how to describe them. Uh, I they're at the tips of the hands, or you can either call them moons or uh, or poems, depending on how you want to refer to them. In a close-up of the dial, you can see the detail 
that goes into the close A on this uh, watch. It's really incredible. And I mean, it's, it's one of those things that you look at here and say, oh, that's nice. And then you look at it close and it's even nicer. It's really remarkable. Uh, I thought I'd say a little something about the close A enameling process. What they do is that a design is laid out on the dial and then flat wires uh, are used and they're placed on the dial to create these cells. And then inside each cell is a powdered uh, enamel, uh, glass-like uh, substance is put into each cell. Now, if you look at the, the colors here, I mean, they have all kinds of colors. And so each one has to have a separate cell to come up with the design of this of the peacock and the peonies and you can see over there in the far right that this is uh, an example they're they're working on it. they haven't put in all of the powder yet and then they fire the thing uh and one thing i read they said that 75 percent of the uh of the firings didn't work on these they had something was wrong with them uh, I don't think it's, I don't know if it's on this one or not, but I mean, it's not a process that one is easy and always works like you want to. But uh, once it does, is that you end up with an incredible watch. And I want to thank um, uh, Benjamin Chi for letting me take a look at this. I also want to thank uh, the folks at uh, Hodinkee for sending them to me before, I, before off they go back home again. I would be very interested in hearing what you have to say. And uh, this is an invitation to subscribe if you like. Until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Society, the Art and Science of Watch Collection.